I don't do anything with him because I just talk about him. <laughs> but I'll, I'll call him. Hey, look at him play on the Oh my We're gonna have one should be sitting on the fence, on the fence, and not standing on either. Now, as I said, you are here at the dolphin nursery, and this is where we bring uh, expecting mother dolphins. They come here a few months prior to giving birth. They give birth in this pool, and then they spend about a year to a year and a half nursing their calves here. Uh, uh, on dolphins, generally, they're going to be more elongated. On the porpoises, they're going to be very blunt, very rounded. Uh, so that is another difference. And then finally, uh, when you head off in that direction, you will be able to go over to Dolphin Cove. And over there, we have scheduled feedings all day long, so you can go over there, you can purchase fish, uh, and you can uh, just feed the dolphins, touch them. I do suggest that you get over there during the feeding time because the dolphins are much In this pool here, we have uh, three moms, and here we have Tasha, uh, she's the last one to have a calf in here, August 1st it was born, and then we have Callie, has a calf in here, um, Calypso, and then she's not quite a year old, calf, and then we have uh, Kendall, and she has um, a calf, Jackson, just, just turned a year old uh, this month, that's this past month. Uh, so what we're going to have you guys do is just, uh, we're going to put a couple of the dolphins here, Kendall. You can do both of them. First, I'll, I'll introduce you to the uh, calves. Uh, again, it's Clipso and uh, uh, Jackson, and, uh, and the other one is Bucks. Bucks turned uh, a year old June 14th. And uh, his, his mom, Buddy, uh, had some health problems, and we had to take her out of here, but he was already eating solid food already. Uh, real good, so we took her out of here, and uh, she's doing real well now. She's back in the Key West pool. <laughs> this is the youngest uh, one, other than the uh, one that's still unnamed, uh, Tasha's cap. And take her. This coffee, this coffee, so I'm gonna come up here. Now these guys are just like puppies at this point in time, they're pretty much all mouth, that's why I don't want you to put your hands in. Uh, and those teeth are very sharp, so if they, you know, will grab or if they shake their head or anything like that, it, it can cut you pretty good and pretty easily. If you, if you look at the dolphins themselves, you'll see that they have a lot of cuts and scratches on them and stuff, and that's from each other already. From, yeah, from playing and fighting among each other and stuff. So yeah, we only go in and bother them if we have. Which <laughs> So that we can uh, get blood. If you guys want to go ahead and touch Luke, Just be gentle. It's kind of ticklish. And this is one of the husband behaviors I was saying that we do with them. This is how we how we get blood from them without having to catch them and put them in a stretcher and everything. We can just hold them like this. There's a major blood vein that runs along the bottom of the right there. You can kind of see a line going across there. And what we do to simulate getting stuck by the needles like that is we take a thumbnail and cut. Another behavior we do with these guys. Yeah, what needle? Go ahead, stick your hand just straight out. There you go. <laughs> okay, 